all right hey everyone welcome back to my channel this is himanshu from salesforce makes sense and we'll continue learning apex and understanding how to master apex in salesforce development with our practice questions so this is one of those last practice questions that we are going to do and then we'll continue our curriculum with other topics the last we in the last video we did vowel counter right so for those of you who took a look at that video let's get started and take a look at this next use case right so this use case is about language translation so what does the use case say a company has different employees from different countries who speak different languages right so they would like to set a default language based on the customer's locale or the employee's locale right so if the person is from ua it should be arabic for us and uk it should be english for russia it should be russian and for china it should be chinese right so we want to write a method that accepts the employee locale or the region and returns the language type all right and in case there's a employee from a country or a locale which is not listed here the default language should be set to english that is the use case all right so for those of you who are confident and you can set it up yourself pause the video here and try to do it yourself and for those of you who want to continue along with me side by side let's get started so i'll just create a new class and i'll call it language selector right what should be my method my method should basically be return language type so i'll just say public static void return language type right what should it return it should return the locale so it should it would be either arabic english right which means it should be a string type so i'll say public static string it should be the return type by default i'll return an empty string for now and what should it accept as a method parameter it should accept the locale or rather the country of origin right so this would be another string and i'll say country or locale right so we have set up the stub or rather the framework i'll just put the right spelling here save so our template is ready and now we want to start working on it so i have different criteria right i have five different nodes based on which i want to take a decision what can i use i can use a conditional right so under conditionals what do we have we have either a if condition using if else if ladders or we can use a switch case right so in one of the previous examples i used the if condition right which was the bonus calculator we'll use the switch case now for this use case all right so i'll be using the switch case and i'll encourage you to try writing the same code using if condition and as well as the switch case so i'll go ahead and use the switch statement here so i'll say switch on what is my parameter based on which i want to take a decision it should be the country or locale right so this is my switch statement and here i can put the when clause right so when the value is uae i should return english let's say save let's see if this first of all saves up fine or not so this saved up fine right so what i want to do is i want to create another when condition this should be for us and i'll say return english right this should be arabic here it should not be english for uae and then i can just copy this and i can say if it is uk return english if it is russia return russian and when it is china return chinese right so these are all our conditions on the switch case let's try to save it first of all so this saves a fine which means the compilation has been successful so our code that has been written is correct right what is one more condition here the condition is that if you don't find the locale the default language should be english right so how can we achieve that we can achieve that by writing when else right so if for any if there's anything else you can simply say return english so that comes as part of your switch statement right so you have the five conditions here ua us and everything and if it is nothing out of these you can just say return from return english okay and since you have handled all the conditions you don't need a return statement outside the switch case why because you will not be able to reach that line at all so it says that you are on an unreachable statement so you can just get rid of it correct why is that so because if it is one of these it will always return from here or else it will return from here so it will never go down here it will always complete its execution till here 
and within the switch case that's why this return statement outside is not needed all right so the compiler is smart enough to understand that right so we have set up our base structure let's quickly give it a try so i'll just say language selector dot return language type and let's say i want to debug it and i want to check for let's say india right which is the else condition let's say execute highlighted so it should return english okay let's take a look at the debug only statement it says english what if i say china execute highlighted debug only it says chinese so our switch conditions are working perfectly fine right what is a simple scope of improvement here i have written when clause for both of these where they return the same statement right so what i can do is i can simply put a comma here and i don't have to write this node one more time even that works right you can put comma separated conditions so if it is us or uk return english so you don't need that extra line all right what is another thing we can do we don't have to return statements we don't have to put the return statement statically here what we can do is we can define a string variable right and i'll say language type and i can simply say english i'll default default it to english correct and what i'll do is i'll just set this language type here so for every case i can simply set the language type instead of returning from the switch case itself instead of writing multiple return statements i can simply assign a variable the value okay and then finally i can simply come out here and i can say return language type and say save all right so even this can be done okay what is another scope of improvement because you are defining it as english you don't need to define it for us and uk right because in the else condition it is english and for these it's a different value right so if it does not go into any of these it will always go to language type equal to english and for us and uk also it's the same value so i can get rid of this node and my function will still behave the same way it will give me the expected output all right so these are different ways of how you can write a single method right you can choose to return it from here you can choose to set up a variable you can choose to return it at the end and any way works right whatever works for your business use case that's the idea all right now what if you had someone putting in uae as small letters right so we learned in our previous session that you can actually set the country or locale value to a lower case value correct so what i'll do is i'll say string locale to check equals country or locale to lower case so this takes away all the sentence casing upper casing lower casing it will convert all the values to lower case and here you can put your static checks with all small all small letters because if you write china with a capital h this will still evaluate because you have converted everything to lower case so your conditions will not be impacted right and we have to use this new variable in our switch condition save all right so these were some different ways of how you can tackle or how you can optimize or how you can write one method in different ways based on how you want it how you want to check things and how you need to return any kind of business use case or you know decision logic all right it was very quick this one and with that we have completed our practice questions we are going to move forward and get started with some more keywords right we, that's the next set of videos coming in so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.